Unbelievable. Well, the threat of cold weather could impact local Halloween festivals. News 13's Megan sharing a streaming live from a haunted farm tonight. Megan, they're making sure the cold snap that is coming doesn't drive people away, right? They are, Larry, and as you can see, and sometimes here, this place is in business to scare people. They're not letting Mother Nature do that work, so officials tell me they are prepared for the cold weather. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Dark Circus. Each weekend, the haunted farm in Hendersonville. I'm your good friend, the ringmaster. Welcome, one and all. Welcomes thousands of people. Come, come. Just around the corner. Most of them get a good scare. But there's something joining the act soon that could make everyone jump. They say Sunday's supposed to be really cold. Colder weather is expected to drop into the mountains just in time for Halloween. The change could be bad for business. It is. It is at this point. It's hard to tell, but I think people are still going to come. But the haunted farm is fighting back. <laughs> Owners say they're going to put propane heaters in all of their buildings. They're also telling their actors to prepare. I wear lots of layers under here. Like right now I have tights underneath jeans and then I'll probably add a pair of leggings to that and a couple different shirts underneath mm -hmm. just to try and stay warm. And making sure visitors have the things they need to stay warm is important too. The Haunted Farm will be making coffee and having hot chocolate available. Stay and play with me. <laughs> And if we come back out here live, I did talk with some parents who say if it gets too cold, they'll shorten their tr kids' trick-or-treating times. As for the haunted farm, if the cold weather does keep you away this weekend, don't worry. They will be open next weekend so you can get your fill of some scary things. And I, I am ready to get out of here because it is very scary, but uh, come in and check it out. It's a really fun time here. Reporting live in Hendersonville tonight, Megan Sherry, News 13.